Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020, Tuesday of the fourth week of Advent, Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 through 56. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, in today's Gospel, we hear the Magnificat, Mary's great hymn of praise to Yahweh. The hymn commences with the simple declaration, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, or as many other translations have it, My soul magnifies the Lord. Mary announces here that her whole being is ordered to the glorification of God. Her ego wants nothing for itself. It wants only to be an occasion for giving honor to God. But since God needs nothing, Wherever glory Mary gives to him returns to her benefit, so that she is magnified in the very act of magnifying him. In giving herself away fully to God, Mary becomes a superabundant source of life. Indeed, she becomes pregnant with God. This odd and the wonderful rhythm of magnifying and being magnified is the key to understanding everything about Mary, from her divine motherhood, to her assumption and immaculate conception, to her mission in the life of the church. Reflect. Think about times when you have given yourself away to God and became a source of life for someone. Or if this hasn't happened to you, how can you submit to God now and trust that his plan will lead to abundant life?